welcome and welcome to the asthma person any asthma fan there is nothing with optimism the possibility of us signing pedro neto we, we need to get your head checked either i've had a few drinks or you do a bit of street pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical maybe not just a bit you do a lot of street pharmaceutical before we continue please uh be kind enough to strike the like button very very important subscribe yet subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell like the video subscribe and make sure you turn on your notification bell now i have nothing against pedoneto brilliant player when fit that's the caveat brilliant winger there's a reason why pedoneto is here at wolves is because of the fitness issue if pedoneto was not nursing this persistent incessant injury record he has from hamstring to acl pedoneto would not be playing at wolves now the fact that asthma fans are nursing the ambition asthma fans are calling for a sign of pedoneto just showing that some of you are delusional and something is wrong with your head we cannot be complaining about the fact that party cannot stay fit right you'll be complaining oh party cannot stay fit then we go and sign pedoneto who has shown worse injury records than party how many hamstring injuries did pedoneto suffer last season for wolves how many games did they play nobody's doubting the talent the directness of pedoneto is a skillful winger is an impactful winger i would love to have him if fit that is see without the fitness he is a, he's a no but i'm sorry availability is your best asset as a player i'm not looking at oh what he could do if, if he's fit no 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 we're not going to be sold a dream we're going to look at reality and function and act on reality pedro neto cannot stay fit for now and there's no way as i should be taking a risk on signing pedro neto from for wolves we need players that can stay fit players with durability like kai havertz who can play at least 30, 38 games kai havertz was barely injured last season Silva was barely injured never got injured right gabriel we need players that can stay fit and give us the quality we, we want from them not players who we are hoping they can stay fit. No, I've dealt with that in the last two years. I am not ready, and sensitive as snuffers are not ready to live on the edge and hope the player stays fit. No, we are going to go by the antecedents. And the antecedents shows us that Pedro Neto cannot play 10 straight games. He can't even play five without putting up a hamstring or getting injured or any issue. He is body, uh, based on the evidence, I'm not just projecting this on it, based on the evidence we've seen cannot do it at the moment so as brilliant as pedonetto is it is it's ludicrous that a lot of you i was no 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 maybe I, let's scratch that some loud asthma fans are calling for pedonetto signing the ones with the bigger platforms the one who have uh engagement on twitter now called x are calling for this and this is disturbing no you cannot be calling for that. and i'm happy the likes of arteta richard garlic edu will not be moved but the gross emotionality of social spaces from twitter to youtube to twitch to all social, you, you, they will not be moved by, by, by the callousness of said if it's callous you cannot be fighting and shouting as to sign players that can stay fit players are quality and you want us to sign player what is quality but can't stay fit availability is every player's biggest asset no matter how skillful you are if you are not you don't have the availability to actually display and exhibit and impact games week in week out you are basically useless i'm not just trying to be to to be facetious here i'm not trying to be harsh you are basically useless sorry neto cannot do it we, we cannot be heralding the sign of neto on hope and hoping to stay fit even when i was doing a live stream this morning some people were saying maybe the, the asthma medical team will actually be better than wilson and the team Let, let's not do that let's not do that that's living on hope this is this is the UK. You cannot tell me wolves cannot afford good doctors. That, like, let's not do that. There is something fundamentally wrong with the fitness of Neto. Unfortunately, there's some footballers, their body cannot take the rigors of playing football at a high level, at a high tempo, week in, week out. As much as they try. Now, some players will eventually grow out of it, but there is no there is no evidence, apparently, that Neto would be part of the players that can grow out of injuries. There, there's no evidence. 
going by the antecedent, he is always breaking down every season. He barely plays 20 games every season. He's a fantastic player, quick, rapid, good dribbler, impactful. But the injury records are just are just annoying to make him out. Extremely annoying. When you need him, he's injured. As at, 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 uh, at full pace running, he can just pull a hamstring. So we cannot be living on the edge with our players. We need players that can stay fit, give us quality. A lot of them are shouting, we need to win trophies, right? Ateta has come second twice. So it's time to go to the next level and win trophies. The Champions League, the Premier League, the Carling Cup, and the FA Cup. And we need players with durability and quality that can stay fit to exhibit and to ac accomplish uh, this, this mission. We cannot be bringing players we know are struggling with fitness issues. The ability to bring them, then when it doesn't work, some of you that have caught already signing will begin to blame Edu and Ateta. This is very callous to be pushing for this. If it doesn't work, and blame those who brought us players. So we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. The Edu Soasna, no. No, 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 no. We cannot entertain it. I love the player, but uh, we have to use our brains. No emotion, no emotions. We have to use our brains and go by the obvious evidence before us. So, guys, some of you might agree with me, but that disagreement, I, I want you to give me something logical, something, something sensible. Why you think we should take a risk on bringing Pedro Neto? G give me, give me something sensible. Now, see, I'm all for you disagree with me but you have to bring the alternative that is sensible not your emotionality not just hope i'm not dealing with hope well i just i just reeled out the evidence to you right he can't stay fit he barely plays 20 games for wolves in the last two three seasons two acls hamstring injuries every time so there's something fundamental really wrong with his uh with, with his physique with the, his body cannot deal with the rigors of, of the premier league or football God, based on what you're saying. So if you're going to actually debunk what you think I'm saying, give me evidence, right? Give me proof, not emotionality. Why you think Pedro will be a quality addition to asthma and he will stay fit at asthma? Let me know. Because if there's something you know that you're saying I'm not saying, please, please educate me on it. So guys, don't forget uh, to strike a like on the video. Extremely important. Like the video. And make sure you subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell one more time. Like the video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on your notification bell. Let me know what you think about this call for Arsenal trying to, to, to go and try and sign Pedro Neto. I don't agree with it. I don't think the boss should do it. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comment section. So, guys, that'll be all for now. Uh, keep enjoying Arsenal. Keep supporting Arsenal. And if you're a rival fan, let me know what you think about the potential of this deal. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.